Hey there, friends of the digital universe. It's Anna beaming through your screen all the way from the For Real channel. Today, we're diving into the world of iOS and unraveling the mystery of the Game Center app. So grab your iPhone or iPad and let's embark on this digital treasure hunt together. So, what's the deal with Game Center, you ask? Imagine a hangout spot where all your gaming achievements are on display. And you can see how you stack up against your friends. That's Game Center for you. But here's the catch. It's not a standalone app anymore. After iOS 10, Apple decided to switch things up and integrate Game Center directly into your games. Now, you might be thinking, Anna, how on earth do I find my game achievements and smack talk my friends about my high scores? Don't sweat it, I've got your back. First things first, open up a game that's compatible with Game Center. You'll know it's compatible if you see options like leaderboards or achievements tucked away in the game's settings or menu. Once you've found those, tap away and you'll see your glorious achievements and how you're doing compared to your buddies. It's like sneaking a peek at the scoreboard without anyone noticing. All right, let's talk, friends. To add pals to your Game Center orbit, head over to the Settings app. Scroll down to Game Center. You can't miss it. Give that a tap and look for Add Friends. Tap it and you'll be prompted to send an invite using messages. Type in your friend's contact. Add some glamour to your invite if you want and hit send. Boom, friendship request out. Hey, are you having a blast figuring out the ins and outs of Game Center? How about showing some love by smashing that like button? If you haven't joined the For Real family yet, hit subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell to stay updated on all the cool tech stuff we explore here. All right, let's keep rolling. Back in the Game Center settings, you'll see options to change your Game Center profile name and decide whether you want to be available for multiplayer games. If you're not in the mood for game invites, you can switch off the Allow Invites toggle. Oh, and those pesky notifications that pop up when you're, say, about to beat your high score? You can manage those here, too. Hit Notifications and toggle them on or off depending on how stealthy you want to be. Did you know you can play some games right in iMessage? Just open a conversation, tap the App Store icon next to where you type your message, and browse through the games. Challenge a friend and see who comes out on top, all in the comfort of your message thread. Sometimes technology can be a bit temperamental. If Game Center decides to throw a temper tantrum, try signing out and back into your Apple ID. If that doesn't do the trick, resetting your network settings might just be the magic fix. Just remember, this will give your Wi-Fi and other network settings a clean slate so be prepared to set those up again. And there you have it, folks! Your quick guide to mastering Game Center on iOS. Being a gaming guru has never been easier. We've navigated through adding friends, managing settings, and even tackling the occasional hiccup like a pro. Don't forget, keep the conversation going in the comments, share this video with your fellow iOS adventurers. And if today's video helped you out, show it by leaving a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging with me today. I'm Anna, your tech buddy from the For Real channel, signing off. Catch you in the next video where we'll unlock more digital secrets together. Stay curious, my friends.